what we want to do now is to change the copper ring. Let's assume that you've had your, your module for three years. You've been changing your ring sets, you've been taking care of things, but now you find that this copper ring uh, is deteriorating. Now this is a brand new module, but let's you know use your imagination. If, if that was the case, this copper ring would be getting thinner and thinner and thinner, and that's when you know you've got to change it. So the, what we're going to do is change the copper ring. First, start by taking out the ring set, okay, and then you have your ring set removed. You can see you have just the, the spot there where, where it was. At this point, you have to remove one of the uh, white legs in order to get at that copper ring in the middle. You can't just slide it out because it's locked in by, by these white legs, okay? So let's look first at the difference between these legs. Each leg is different. See this one here? This is, has a copper strip in it. Don't touch that one. This really uh, does not have to be removed but in one circumstance, which we'll go over later. Um, and then the other two legs is you have a short, you have a short leg uh, and, and one with longer slits. Here's the one with longer slits. See that one there and then one there. This is where the, the ring set slides out of. That's what allows the ring set to slide. And then the other one is the shorter, uh, shorter one which is right over here. Okay, you see how there's, there's no longer slits on that one? All right, so that's the one we're going to remove. How do you go about that? Well, the first thing to do is to put a uh, flathead screwdriver in the, into the indentation on the top of the module. Okay, and then you, you're going to give it a slight turn. Now, I say slight because be careful. You, you're removing this white leg. You don't want to stress the plastic so much that you're going to break it. In fact, the best way to, to, before you start, the best thing to do is to soak this, put this module in very hot water for 10 minutes before you start. Just get the hottest tap water you can and soak this module in the hot tap water for 10 minutes. That's going to give you a little more pliability in that plastic so that you're less risk of, you know, making a mistake and, and then uh, breaking it. So see what I've done here? Look closely and you can see that that has been lifted up enough so that you can see a white tab on the top of the module. Okay. Once you've got that side uh, up, flip it around to the bottom of the same leg and we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Lift slightly and then once that's lifted you'll see that both sides have been lifted out and I'm going to just move from the center, pull out, and then see how it comes out, it comes out there? Slides out. At this point, it's really easy just to take out the copper ring and replace it. So this, we're going to put this back. And then putting the, the leg on is just the reverse. You're going to kind of line it up with both sides. Make sure you put the, um, put the dolphin facing up the same way as the others, because you could put it upside down if you're not looking, and then line up the rings. First the copper ring. Let's make sure we get this lined up here. Okay, good. Now you can see that I've already begun to get it back in. The copper rings are already kind of in its slot, and these other rings look like they're lining up pretty nicely. So at this point, I'm just going to grab with, my, with my, uh, the heel of my hand, and I'm going to push and hold with the other fingers. Okay, that clicks in. I'll flip it around. I'll do the same thing here. Click, and then this back in. Uh, then you just put your uh, your ring set back in, and uh, you are good good to go. 